Okay, well, this is Dr. Morton. This is the lecture for um, Friday, the um, 6th of November. And um, I'm, this is going to be a short lecture because I, 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 the plan was to review for the test today. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll just cancel the lecture because uh, I still am writing the test, although now I have it almost written. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of tell you what's going to be on it. And I'm thinking it's going to be a short test, fairly straightforward and simple. But it'll, it, it gives you another chance to get a grade, which is good. Uh, so l let me just talk about some general things. One, you have to have, uh, you have to, you have to do two things to get a grade in this course. One, you have to do all but one of the labs. And, and that, by that I mean you have to demo it or submit the video for all but one of the labs. The lab sheet you should also turn in, but if you don't turn in the actual sheet, then it's not, it won't be that big of a deal, with the exception of the uh, um, the SDK lab. And that one, you don't have to demo it, you don't have to do a video, but you do have to turn in the sheet for that one to get credit for it. Okay, but all the other ones, the sheets will just cost you a 5% or something like that if you don't turn it in. So do the sheets, turn them in, but you have to demo the lab to the TA, Alex, or, uh, or, you, or to me, or, well, I don't have the sheet though, so typically it has to be Alex. Uh, if you do it in person, or you have to do a video and send it to Alex so that you get credit. Don't send the video to me because I don't have. I'm not keeping the records for that. Um, yeah, you should also do the homework because that will help you. And uh, you should also, um, of course, take all the tests. If you do those things, then you're 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 going to get a decent grade in the course. And this this. A second written test will just help that because it should be fairly straightforward and um, it'll only be I, I'm planning on making it 20 questions 10 are going to be on the uh, carry look ahead adder and I'm going to give you two listings uh, from different places for a carry look ahead adder same adder two different listings but I'm going to ask you at least a question or two about the differences between them and I'm going to and I want you to understand how these work so if you don't understand how they work, you won't be able to answer the questions. So you need to look, you need to look at, at the code, and you also need to read about uh, in the text the carry look ahead adder. Uh, and you also, or you can just go online and Google carry look ahead adder and read some of the explanations. And, and I will talk about it a little bit uh, maybe uh, next Monday or Wednesday. I'll talk about it. The test will be on Friday, a week from today. So uh, you've got plenty of time to study for it. And like I said, 10 questions on the carry look ahead adder. I'm, the carry look ahead adder has uh, generate terms and propagate terms. And then it has a sum term and, a car and carry terms. Uh, and so you have to look at those. Um, and you need to understand why it's faster than the carry ripple adder. And of course, the problem with the carry ripple adder is that the higher bits, the higher order bits, have a dependency for for the carry in for that bit, which it waits on the previous bit to complete before it'll know what the carry in is. So, so if you have, you know, 32 bits, then you you have you don't just have, you know, two or three gate delays. You have two or three gate delays plus 32 times you have to wait for the previous. Uh, module the previous bit to decide whether it's going to generate a carry or not, and so so that's that's why uh, carry look at adders and and other types of, of adders have been created, and so it, it really uh, it's really important to then to understand uh, you know what those differences are. I doubt that you'll have to write uh, a, you know an adder because these are these are so standard that. Uh, that plenty of plenty of previous uh, you know um, IPs out there for you to uh, use rent uh, whatever, um, but you should understand how it works because it, it is kind of one of the most important uh, you know essentially all mathematics is undergirded by carry look at adder by well by by addition uh, subtraction we do two's complement and add. Uh, Division, it's just sequential subtractions. 
multiplication, we, we just copy uh, copy the uh, the multiplicand, or we don't, depending on the multiplier digit. And then we have all the partial products that we have to add up. So, so, so addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are all adders. And then those processes underlie every other process. So you can see that for the most part, it's all about adders. And, uh, and that's why uh, fast adders are critical, slow adders are, are a bane uh, for uh, fast hardware. And uh, we're still doing research on adders. Uh, partly because it's uh, even even some of our fastest adders we 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 don't necessarily there's all sorts of strategies for instance um, let's say you're going to do a 32-bit adder well are you really going to go through and generate all the terms Im immediately if you do that the higher the higher order bits have in and of themselves you know i don't know 64 gates just for the carry bit. I mean, it's crazy. So uh, you you really have to, uh, and maybe more than that, I don't know, I have to go look, it, but it's a, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot of, lot of gates for that, just that one, just part of the one process for the, those higher, that higher order bit. So, so a better strategy, perhaps, is to carve it up into blocks and build the really fast, you know, a full carry look ahead adder maybe four in groups of four bits or maybe even eight bits and then and then ripple the carry through those groups of eight bits so so the, the carry is immediately generated in each group of eight bits but the second group of eight bits has to wait on on the first group to generate its carry out which which does generate in a two-layer net so it's only really two gate delays or something like that and then so if you have uh, you know, groups of eight, and you've got 32 bits. So now you have to have uh, four uh, groups of eight. So you so you have to get the final result instead of just a two-layer, essentially two gate delays. You now have uh, eight gate delays. But that's reasonable, okay? But but one of the questions is where's that? Where's the sweet part of that trade-off, right? Between how many gate delays uh, you can tolerate and whether you might group it, maybe you should group it in 16 bits, maybe in groups of some other grouping. Or maybe maybe your first grouping should be bigger, and then you can have smaller subgroupings for the later later bits. I don't know. There's a lot of things to look at. And then there's other techniques. Um, so uh, there's still a lot of research going on when it comes to, to, to adders, uh, coming up with really the optimal, optimal way to do it. Um, yeah, and then um, so so I so anyway so that's why we're gonna kind of focus on the carry look ahead adder for this test, and then there'll be ten general questions, and the general questions are gonna be some of the things we've covered in recent lectures, uh, like uh, we talked we talked a lot about nets, uh, wires, and uh, and we talked about registers. We talked about integers. We talked about uh, reals, and so you should go back and review those lectures. Uh, we talked about uh, arrays and part arrays, and uh, we talked about um, constants and some of the keys of that. So, so there'll be some just ten questions on some stuff like that, and there'll be mostly true and false, or multiple choice, or um, single answer numeric, you know, something like that. So, They'll be pretty straightforward questions, so nothing too difficult. But for the first 10 questions, you will have to compare uh, these listings for the carry look at adder, and they're about a page long, each of them, and you'll you'll just have you'll have to spend some time looking at those. So you can you can look at those uh, downloads first, and you should definitely study. You should do some reading about carry look at adders, uh, so you you know so you're a little bit up to speed. Um, I, I lectured on them briefly, not really. I didn't go through it extensively, uh, so um, so you kind of need to do some you know do some research and learn some of this on your own. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, that's really about all I wanted to say. I'm not going to do a quiz for this lecture either. Uh, so uh, you know, so enjoy your weekend, and uh, then on Monday uh, I'll 
probably do a little more I'll do some more review th for the quiz and I'll talk a little bit more I'll probably put up the two listings for the carry look at adders and talk about them a little bit all right um, all right so if you have any questions I will try and remember to do office hours at noon um, on Monday so um, so if you have questions you can pop up for that and that should do it